right, so Valentina Shevchenko back on the proven ground here tonight. You gotta think some of these super fights are gonna materialize at this stage of her career. Perhaps a trilogy with Amanda Nunes, potentially a title defense against Zhang Wei Li. But make no mistake about it, 125 pounds, she has distanced herself from the pack. Yes, there is a lot out there for Valentina. Super fights are on the horizon, but the only time that those present themselves is whenever you have really dominated the division that you fight in. Valentina has done that. She has beaten everyone, and she has dominated most of them. So let's see if tonight she can once again get her hand raised and look to some of those things that are out there for her to come. Seven title defenses and counting for Shevchenko. She moved down to 125 pounds back in 2017, and needless to say, she has not looked back. a submission specialist as we have in this division and candidly not many women are able to stand up to that type of challenge it's very difficult to try and fight a specialist in the position that they are so good at getting you to because it's her ability to trick you into grappling with her that makes her so special and when you're on step two of a jiu-jitsu exchange she's already graduated right school's already out of session <laughs> by the time you're ready to go into the classroom because the moment you leave any limb hanging you leave the arm down arm bar is already thrown up on you you get too low on her hips she throws up the triangle choke if you get too high with your body she'll be rolling knee bar ankle right. lock leg lock it does not matter there are just so many submissions in her arsenal that you are constantly in danger school is out for summer champ we'll see how quickly she can get this fight to the ground tonight All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Amanda Hiba. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. Well, Valentina Shevchenko has been fighting in combat sports since she was 12 years old. Pro MMA debut at 15. So you can expect she won't be affected by the bright lights here tonight. Yet another championship opportunity for Valentina Shevchenko. Defense held up there as she blocks that shot. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Get that button. Four strikes to the head. Volume striking as usual from Valentina Shevchenko on the feet. She draws a lot of confidence from her sister Antonina and of course her longtime chief MMA coach. Oh man, I hate to laugh, but she lands another kick there, and now you're really starting to see that visible damage on the other side. When you start seeing the redness in the leg, that means that every time she is driving that baseball bat right into the thigh where she wants it to land, and now her opponent is limping, her opponent is wounded, her opponent is injured, and now watch the target be way more stationary. Very nice leg kick there by Hibas. Kick checked by Hebus. Another good stick to the head. Nice strike. Just out of the range with that right hand. Hang in there. Lands flush with that right hand. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, 
how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that. When she is this, free-flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. Shevchenko looking very comfortable on the feet as usual, and a lot of that just comes from spending her entire career under her first and longtime head coach, Pavel Fenton. Never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? Oh, there's that roundhouse kick and it lands for her. I didn't realize she had that in her arsenal. She has all the tools in her arsenal, so we should not be surprised. Shot a double leg. Slams her opponent to the ground. How rude is that? It's, it's rude and it's filthy, and I love it huh. because it has to be the most disrespectful thing in the world to be able to lift somebody, carry him like a baby, and then slam him to the ground. Why are you gonna go disrespect Dan Henderson? It's just disrespectful. I love Dan Henderson. I know. We know. <laughs> All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. All right, so not exactly the kind of fight or approach we expected to see out of this decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. Perhaps this will be the round in which she attempts to take it. Well, you hope to see it, right? Because everything else builds off of her strongest strength. She's so good at grappling, she's so good on the ground that she has to shoot the takedowns. If she becomes one-dimensional, she's not nearly as difficult a puzzle to crack. And right now you can see that that's the case. Well, eventually she will turn this defense into offense, but she seems to see these strikes coming from a mile away. She sees them a mile away and the hands are exactly... Still stand. She's still standing, but she's got to get on the bike. Now. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon. Find some points. Oh, the jab followed by the right hand. Oh, nice body shot. Under three minutes to go, round two. Inside leg kick and another one for good measure. Nice combination there. Double leg shot. puts her down. Have you ever been on the wrong end of a slam like that? I mean, I've been thrown around in my life. Anytime you wrestle, as long as yeah. I have, you have been thrown around, and it does not feel good. And it doesn't feel good physically, but it's the mental toll that it usually takes on you to know that you got dominated like that. That really does wear on someone. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Valentina Shevchenko. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. 90 seconds to go. One minute.
right, so a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of it. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually, that's enough to end the fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's fight? see what happens. You ready? Third ready? round underway. Nice hook for her. What a great job by her there to double up on the jab and really giving her opponent a lot to think about on the future. She's having trouble processing everything that's coming at her, and she... Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh! Big punch from the clinch. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. Looks like she's got power. Oh, shot. Hold on right here. Oh, man, you can see the head bounce on the canvas. Heavy shot lands. Bruce Buffer is here. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 38 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Amanda Hiba! Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her and her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knockout. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it would happen, but when it does, I mean, it's joy. It's joy like nothing you've ever felt before. You don't expect it.